key to get this. Oh, yes, cool. So you can actually get like up to like five golden spatulas pretty easily in this level. Not pretty easily, like you can get up to five. E like easily. Oops. Yep, and now I'll, go, I'll get the other one later. The last one you have to go to Mrs. Puff and go get her. So that'll be a little bit later. Alright, so um, I think that after we're done, oh no, we need ten more. Uh, after we get ten more, then we can um. Oh god damn, that's this here's gonna try to make unwanted love with us. Oh, it's, it's not rape, it's just a process. No, 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 it's rape. Okay. Oh cool, teleport. Okay, so you basically get the teleport box and that's the end of the level. It's almost the end at least. I don't know. Ah, what's so great about being quiet anyway? Gotcha! The heck? I don't know what they're talking about. I think you can just go around this and then get a golden spatula. <laughs> I was playing Crash Bandicoot like a few days ago. And I was playing that level where the Triceratops chases you. The really, really gay one. God damn, where do we go with that? What the hell? Whatever. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Then you can get your sixth by talking to Miss Puff over here. Last piece of the. I'm ready. Mm. Yeah, so now you get this one. So you can get up to six in this level, which is pretty cool. Alright, and then, um, hang on, what else do we have to do? Alright, this is the last level of, um, oh damn, wait, I don't, I don't even have one. Yeah, so we're gonna go back to Goo Lagoon for now, right after this. First I'm gonna give Pat, first I'm gonna go give Patrick his socks, cause you can get easy spatulas like this. Yeah, so now we have 32. And now if we can get every single golden spatula, if we get every single golden spatula in, um, in what's it called? It was called, um, in the, the sand, sand Mountain, Sand Mountain, there we go. And I, I remember that level not being too difficult, but I'm not sure though. Wait, where the hell is Mr. Krabs? Wait, 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 what the heck, where is he? Wait, where's Mr. Krabs? Oh, oh, whoops, oh, here he is. There we go. Like, those really are probably the easiest factors in the game, because, like, as long as you go through the game, like, pretty, I don't know, like, decently you can get a lot of shiny objects so really it's easy it's an easy shiny object and actually after you um enter sand mountain this is actually a, a good place to farm shiny objects like oh sorry no, I'm it's like pretty easy to farm shiny objects in this area so i mean all you really need to do right now is just you, know, you don't have any tasks yet though so Try to just go to Guppy Mountain. Oh damn, you have to pay so many objects? That's gay. I'm not oh, this is this is Guppy Mountain, I think. It's an easy place, don't worry. Basically all you have to oh shoot. There we go. Oh yeah, so we already have like an extra like what? Ten China like, hundred shiny objects. That's another two hundred. I've gone down this. I've gone down. Yeah, so you accept your time challenge and then you go down this slope, so. So so really all the time challenge is is oh wait, um uh, the time challenge is like really nothing really, like unless you mess up so unless you like unless you fall off somewhere, you're really not gonna find yourself having a lot of trouble with the time challenge. So yeah. Uh, music glitch. And there are monsters, like, not monsters, there are robots here, but, um, they don't really matter very much, so, yeah. 
There are also snowmen here, and if you get rid of every single snowman, I think that you get a prize at the end. I'm not sure though. But you get you get a sock at the end, I believe. And if you're wondering what all these like thunder tiki's are doing here, they're really only here for like people who are willing to like get hurt. So if you, if you really want to get those extra shiny objects, you can go for it. it doesn't really matter. So as you can see, you, you finish with a lot of time remaining. Yeah, so the, all these sand fountains are usually really easy. Like, like they're not easy themselves, but uh, on the time aspect of it, they are really easy. Like, you won't have any trouble passing the time. It's just the course itself that's usually difficult. So, like, maybe you'll kill yourself by accident while going on the course. That's probably yeah, the trouble you'll be heading into. Alright, so, yeah, the spatulas, the spatulas in this area are, are usually pretty easy because... You get like a good like two spatulas per person. Like for every single hill that you do on this place, you'll get a golden spatula. You'll get two golden spatulas. You'll get one for being the person's time, and you'll get one for going to the bottom of the course. So really, it's it's really not hard at all. So you go, you go, you go, you go oh god damn it. You go back to the ski lodge, and then, um, unfortunately, one of the problems here is that to, en to enter any of these, um, areas, you're gonna need to, um, like, to enter any of these hills, you're gonna need to pay a certain amount of money, so, I recommend that you, like, well, actually, you don't really have to like, do anything for this, because, I mean, you'll get a good amount of money anyway, so, what does it matter? Yeah, so basically you, you'll earn like 2,000 shiny objects per thing, so it doesn't really matter. I fly like so, okay, now you... Oh, yeah, well, okay, here's one of the snowmen. If you break one of them... Yeah, so there are seven more, and if you're able to get all seven, then you'll receive a uh, uh, sock, I believe. I'm not sure. Yeah, and you can break through over here to put down a few times. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. But to get all the snowmen, you're going to have to go through more than one course. And you also have to go through it more than one way, so, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. If you're wondering how I'm getting the, the silent tiki's, um, what you have to do is, you oh wait, shoot, um, yeah, one of the forks in the road. I think I should pick the other one. Like, a lot of this is just choice. Like, if you if you ever played, um, Spongebob, the movie, the movie video game, um, you'll know that some... That like every few levels you'll have to go down a cliff in the, in the like a bathtub or something. I don't know. Yeah, and to do that, you'll be given a bunch of like a series of like choices along the way, along the road. And so basically, all you really have to do is just like go there and things. I guess I don't really know. I don't have any tips for this. It's it's pretty easy in general. Yeah. So. Yeah. I really, I really want Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Like, not, not Kingdom Hearts 1, but no. Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Like, I think two years ago when the game actually came out, no, not two years, I think one year ago. I'm not sure. Two years ago. Two years ago? When the, oh no, one year, I'm sorry, I'm so stupid. One year ago. When the game originally came out. Wait, no. No, no, two years ago. What am I saying? Two years ago when the game came out. Not, not one year ago, two years ago. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. So two years, two years ago when the game, oh damn it, I missed this one. Uh, God, I'm not saying anything. Two years ago when the game actually came out, um, my mom had promised it for me. Like my mom had promised me that she would allow me to get swap magic, and she'd let me like buy the game and everything. Yeah. So uh, she said that she. Oh yeah. Whoa. I was really close that time. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm not very good at this game. I oh, got. I keep going off topic. Okay. So um, two years ago, not one year ago, two years ago. When my mom, when the game originally came out, my mom had promised that she'd get the game for me, and, um... And, well, it's not really her fault, because she thought that I'd break the PS2 